good morning
Hello, hi all, good morning. So, I'm audible to everyone. Hello. Yeah, I can hear, sir. Yeah, I'm audible. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, so, good morning. Uh, so, I'll just uh, go through my introduction. So, my name is Raghu. So, uh, I have nearly 10 plus years of experience in this field, like, you know, uh, training development in corporate trainings as well. So, I'm working in an MNC as a senior data engineer. So, I might work uh, different tools like, you know, big data analytics and Tableau, Power BI, and Excel, VBA. So, different sort of tools. Uh, so, here, in training, same same thing. I teach here Excel and macros. So this is more overall my expertise. Okay, and uh, I also wanted to know your introduction, just your name, and what you want to learn. VBA. What sort of you know difficulties you are facing in your real time? Okay, can everyone go one by one, please? Hello. Yeah, hi. This is Satish. Hi, Satish. Yeah, actually, I'm working in a project where I need to automate few tasks or repeated tasks. Okay. So for that, I need this VBA. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Hi. Yeah, next. Hi, sir. My name is Pompey. Uh, Right now, I'm working as a account department, uh, one of the senior person. Uh, uh, if I learn this uh, VBA, it will be helpful to improve my uh, financial statement level and uh, ethical level. Okay. That's why I'm looking to learn this VBA. Cool, Thank cool, Ramchi. Yeah. Next. Hi, sir. This is Srinivas. Yeah. Hi, Srinivas. Yeah. Uh, VBA is the best for uh, automating. That is the reason I'm uh, learning this VBA. Cool, sir. Cool. Yeah. Next. Next, anyone? Good morning, sir. This is Nitish. Yeah, hi, Nitish. Uh, sir, I'm work. Uh, rec recently, I joined in Hetero. Hetero Drugs. Yeah, Hetero Drugs. Yeah. On VBA. Okay. Yeah, so this will be helpful for my job. Right, cool. Next. Anyone? I'm sharing my screen. able to see my screen? Yeah, this is good, sir. Yeah, right. So, so this is called as Excel object model. Okay. Okay, this is called Excel object model. So before that, uh, we'll try to understand what is VBA and what is a macro? Uh, VBA just stand for Visual Basic for Application. Okay. And macro is a set of code, I think. Are you already listened to my expression, I think. Yes. <laughs> Your name? Sinos. Sinos, sir. Okay. Yeah. So Visual Basic for Applications. VBA is nothing but visual basic for applications. What is a macro? Macro is nothing but code, set of code which we written in VBA, a program name, a particular set of code, we call it as a macro. Okay, I'll okay. show you. Uh, see, if you see, I have these many macros here.
See, everyone is a macro. This is a one macro. Cell difference is a macro. Sub different range difference is a macro. This is a macro. This is a macro. This is a macro. Okay. So each and every program, each and every program is called a macro. The language which we are using to write this code is VBA. So with VBA, we can automate all Microsoft applications, not only Excel, we can automate Word, we can automate PowerPoint, we can automate Access, we can automate Outlook, we can automate Word. So all Microsoft applications, we can automate with the help of VBA, okay? So for example, uh, if you're dealing with any sort of report which you are, you know, which you task is regularly let you know, if there is a task, you have to do it, a same task, same set of steps, say everything was same, only the output and data will be deferred. So those type of, you know, requirements, you can automate with the help of macros. Like why I'm telling a uh, same set of column, same set of data means, if there is any change in the process, again, you have to change the code. So every day, it's not your duty to change the code. So that program, whatever the process you are automating, it should be fixed. Like for example, I'll be showing here. Here, this is a sales sheet. So this sheet, if I run, it should create this report, customer-wise report. Okay. See here, I'm deleting. And there is a code already. Okay, this is a code. If I click on run, automatically, see how much time it took to create this? Hello, I am audible to everyone. I am audible, right? Yes. Yeah. How much time it took to create this report? For example, there is a change in Suppose I'll add customer as Ramesh, something veggie. Okay, so what are the changes I'm making here that should also reflect in the report? So now let's see whether in the customer report, whether I'll be getting Ramesh or not. So this is the automated script. If you run this within fraction of seconds, the report is ready. So whatever the steps you are writing manually, I wrote in the code. So what it will do, it will automatically create one sheet and it will copy, it will paste the unique customers, then after it will write the summary formula in the script and it will put the heading total and it will apply the bots. So how much time you are saving with the help of this? How much time you are saving? So nowadays, most of people are, you know, concentrating on automated automation in the recent days. Not most in the recent days only. 
so like you know uh, most of the things are automated okay people who are doing it manually compared to manually people who knows who has lot of expertise in excel and who are who are doing automation they have a good payment in the market Okay, so why means whatever the work you are doing, it will be completed within a fraction of seconds. And you know, the work you are doing accurately, it will be completed. Okay. Any questions? Hello. Sir, nothing, sir, nothing. Any questions? So the same thing here, I wrote for VLOOKUP. So instead of doing it manually, So when I execute this automatically, see, for example, if I remove this, Okay, if I increase, like for example, if I increase, Okay. So now you can ask me questions. Sir, we have to go mac to macros and we have to execute all the code. Okay. So no need to go to macros and you can no need to go to the macros window and need not to execute the code. Okay. So let we can create our own buttons. Okay. Like a UI user interface, we can create our buttons and we can automate directly you can just with the click of a button everything will be completed you can see here if i click on apply i want to highlight numbers which are above 500 if i click on clear if i click on apply i want the values which are above 450 which should be highlighted so these are the names which are above 450 and highlighted. Clear. See, we are giving the input box, enter any value to highlight. I'm giving above 520. There is no value above 520. Five hundred. There are only three values, 511, 510, 503. If you want to clear, you can clear. Okay. Need not to, you know, go to the code window, need not to execute that directly. Okay, you can create an interface like this. Okay, if you just click on this button, whatever the work you wanted to do, it will automatically, it will complete and you're in a safer hands. Huh? Okay.
So macro is nothing but whatever the repetitive task which you are dealing with on day to day basis. So we can automate those type of tasks. Okay. The requirement should not be changed. The requirement should be same for that particular process. Like I have to create a sort of report. I have to do some data. I have to do some data analysis by applying some formula. I have to pull some report. Then I have to send to through Outlook to my manager. So that can be done with the help of macro. Any questions? Can we schedule any tasks like particular day, some particular time it has to run like that? We can schedule, but here I not tried here. Anytime I, I did not try any schedules. We can schedule. Why? Because I did not get a chance to schedule any task yet. And also we can pull the data from Outlook and we can uh, that attachments and we can do uh, required uh, task and again we can send it data to the record users, right? Yes, we can. And also we can connect to the database and can pull the data and we can exactly. do this. Exactly, we can connect to the database, we can connect to Outlook, we can connect to web. So that can be thought in this uh, session, right? That can be? Teach in this session, right? That, uh, no, sir, as per the request. Those no, are no, some advanced ones. Those are some advanced ones. So as per the request only, we are going to teach. Right now, we are limited to only, in this course, we are limited to only Excel, only Excel related automation. So if you want, if you want to automate, so I can help you. Why? Because I have done almost all of the things like connecting to database, connecting to Outlook. So everything I have done. So will you show in the session? I'll show, I'll show, but based on the request only, not for the entire, you know, for you especially. I can help you wherever you who are facing any issues. I can show you, I can teach you, but uh, it still comes under, it, it comes under advanced uh, macro session. Is there any uh, course like that? Yeah, we can, yeah. After completing this, we can have that. Okay, sir. Still anything? And don't think sir, that will that will not be charged <laughs> if you want to learn more. Okay. Okay. So next. Mm, I'm audible to everyone. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. So next, so next I'll go to uh, object model. So this is Excel object model. So Excel object model, this is the hierarchy of the Excel object model. Okay. When you open any application, when you open an Excel application, First, what you will see? When you open any Excel application, what you will see? Workbooks and worksheets. Okay, correct. When you open Excel workbook, when you, when you open any application, Excel application, you will see workbooks and worksheets. Okay, first it will create workbook, then after we can see the worksheets. Okay. Then after, if you go to each and every sheet that is in, each, if you go each and every sheet, we will find the range, range or cells. Correct. 
Yes, sir. All right. So here uh, we'll be going through some basics like how to refer a workbooks. Okay, how to refer a workbooks, then how to refer worksheets, then how we'll work with our range or sets. Like for example, in Excel object model, first object is workbooks. Okay, first object is workbooks. So when we are dealing with multiple workbooks, we can refer this workbook name. Like how a man, like you know, how a human being will identify by looking at the name of the workbook through coding also we have to give the name. Okay, there is no artificial intelligence here to identify the book name automatically which you are working. So you have to mention in the code in which workbook you are working on. Okay. Like for example, if you're dealing with multiple workbooks, how the code understands this code should be worked in that particular book. If you mention name only, then only it will work right. Okay, the same thing in which workbook you are working, work in which workbook you are referring, in which workbook you want the output, you have to refer that workbook. Okay. So with the help of that workbook, what actions you can perform with the help of that particular workbook in real time? Can you tell me? With only with the help of workbook, what we can do? Only with the help of workbook, what we can do? No idea? Yes or no? You can see there, right? With the help of workbook, only with the help of workbook object, we will open the workbook, correct? Able to hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah. We'll open the workbook. We will save the workbook. We will save as the workbook. You know, save as? What is save as? When you are creating a new workbook, what you will do? You will do save or you will do save as? Save. Save or save as? Save or save as. Which one? Save, sir. When, save as. You will do save as. For example, if I am creating a workbook, Suppose think this is the workbook. Okay, if I click on control L, what it is doing now? It is doing save as or save. Save as, save as. See here, it is doing save as. Okay, it is doing save as. Okay. But on the existing workbook, uh, which is already you are, you know, which you are there already on the existing workbook. Like, for example, if I do control S here, if I do control S here, it will not ask for anything. It will save the workbook. Okay. You got the difference. When you're opening a new workbook, you will do save as. When you already created when you already save that workbook name automatically you can do save control s save the workbook okay you can create a workbook you can open a workbook you can delete a workbook you can save a workbook you can refer a workbook so in the coding how you will refer the workbook name that you are working in that particular book how you will refer so in the coding this is the line to refer a particular workbook, workbooks of workbook name. In which workbook you are writing? 
in which workbook you want to execute, in which workbook you want to work, you have to write the workbook name. Workbooks of workbook name dot XLS with extension. Okay. So this hierarchy model is very important. Based on this hierarchy only, we'll be referring the sheets, we will be referring the workbooks, we'll be referring the range or cells. Okay. The only thing we will just implement programming and remaining this code will be same. You will be seeing sheets, you will be seeing workbooks, you will be seeing range. Okay. So workbooks, how to refer a workbooks means workbooks of workbook name dot XLSX. So in which workbook you are want to write, you have to mention the workbook name. This is the line how to refer in the code. Okay. After this, what you wanted to do? So in that, in each workbook, how many sheets you see now? Three, sir. Which version of Excel you are using? Which version of Excel you have to do it? I have no problem. So in workbook, we have, right now, we can limit that. Right now, the recent version, we can see only worksheet. Only one worksheet. If you want, we can create that. Like, you know, if you want, we can modify that. Whenever the workbook is created, how many sheets you want to create automatically, there is an option you can create that. How many sheets you want to have. But right now, only one sheet you are getting. Okay, when you create the workbook. Earlier versions, we got three. Why? Why? Because by default, they have already added three. Okay. But we can modify as well. So how many sheets you want to create? You can see. Okay. Three is fine. One is also correct. So in recent versions, one we are getting. In older versions, 2010, we are getting three. Okay. Any questions? Hello. And in workbook, what we will find? In workbook, what we will find? We have seen how to refer a workbook. In workbook, what we will find? Hello. I'm audible. Yes, sir. In this one, Yes, sir. I can hear the voice. Mm, workbooks, low pala, a muntadi. Workbooks. When I open workbook, I use it. Workbook. So we have seen. in After opening workbook, what you will see? For example, see here. I opened a workbook. What I'm seeing here? Sheets and cells and rents. One working, oh, immediately, uh, working sheet. Yeah, immediately you can see sheets. So yeah. this is the hierarchy. When you open workbooks, this is how you can refer a workbook. When you open workbook, we have worksheets. So in which worksheet you want to work? You have to mention the name. Okay. But in which workbook, in which sheet you want to work, you have to mention. Okay, without that, you can't do anything. So with the help of, only with the help of sheets object, what we can do? We can add the sheet. We can delete the sheet. We can rename the sheet. 
we can apply the color on the street. We can move. We can move. We can give tab color. Tab color. Hmm. We can protect. In the intermediate change of sheet. Okay. If you right click on the sheet, you can know the action center. You know what you wanted to do. Clear. Okay. So sheets can be referred with the help of same thing sheets of sheet name. But if you are working with different workbooks, if you are working with different workbooks, you have to mention workbooks of workbook name. Then sheets of sheet name. Sheet name. So there is no AI to identify the sheet. You have to tell the object E workbook low, E sheet low, I have to work on something. So only with the help of sheets, I can do these things. But if you want to work with different workbooks in different sheets, in different workbooks in the sheets, you have to refer this way. Okay. Workbooks of workbook name, then sheets of sheet name. So with the help of only sheets object, you can add the sheet, you can delete the sheet, you can rename, you can name, you can give tab color, you can give protect, or you can hide or unhide. Only with the help of worksheets only. So if you're working in the same workbook, go with sheets. If you're working with different workbooks, you have to refer the workbook name. Why? Because the code should identify the workbook name. Okay. In the workbook, what you are finding in the workbook, if you're not in the workbook, in the worksheets. For example, I'm opening this worksheet. So what you can see here. What you can see here. Cells or range. Okay, cells or range. The next object is cells or range. Our main motto is to work with range or sales only. Do you agree? Yes. Hello. Our main motto is to work on sales only. Why? Because the data is present in sales only, not in the all these objects, not in the worksheet, not in the workbooks. So our data is present here only. So if you want to do formatting, you can do with the help of range or cells only. If you want to apply charts, only with the range. If you want to do some data manipulations, any changes, you can do with the help of only range or cells. Okay. And if you want to... <clears throat> Do any data analysis, you want to apply any formulas, everything is with the help of range only. Without this range, we can't do any analysis. So how to refer that? You can see here, workbooks of, workbook name, then sheets of, sheet name, range. So this is how we will refer the range. You see this one. Okay, in which range you want to work, you can give, you can work on that range. You can define here. So how to refer, I'll tell you range object. With the range object, what you can do, you will copy, you will paste, you'll apply the borders with the range object. Okay, you'll copy range, you'll paste it, and uh, you'll apply borders. So all these options comes under range only, like, you know, font size in range, alignments in range, wrap text in range, conditional formatting in range, format is stable. Everything will come under only one object that is range. Okay. Any questions?
Any questions? No, sir. Everyone, only one person is speaking here while I'm speaking. Everyone speak out here. If you can speak, it will be very easy for me to, you know, you are getting or not, you know, I it will be very confused. We are connecting virtually, right? Oh, fine, sir. Yeah. Any doubts or any question, if you want to ask anything, you can ask. So far, no doubts, sir. So far, no doubts. Anyone? Srinivas, sir? Nitish? Uh, nothing, sir. Nothing. Fine. Satish? Vamshi? So, um, how to next? So, this is a hierarchical model. Once you are familiar with that, we will start how to, you know, enable developer tab, how to, you know, start writing the code. Next immediate step is how to enable developer tab. All you have developer tabs. So in my machine, I have a lot of tabs. Okay. So you don't find all these tabs. I am doing some, you know, whenever I see any future, I'll just add that future and just try. Okay. On my own. So because of that, you're seeing a lot of tabs here. But uh, tell me, you are able to see developer tab on your on your machine? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Without enabling, we can't see. Right. Most of the cases, we will not enable. People who develop something, they will enable this developer tab. OK? In most of the cases. OK, till view only, you can see, not the developer tab as well. So how to developer, how to enable a developer tab? If you click on a file, if you go to options, okay, here we have customized ribbon. So in customized ribbon, you can click on this. So it will automatically, it will automatically enable the developer tab on top of the ribbon. I removed one tab and I kept only developer tab. You can do data reference. Okay. I have removed one tab. I kept only developer tab. Already it's present. Okay. So there are different add-ins you'll be getting here. If you want to add your own macros also, you can add here. The customized ribbon. So that is what refresh here. If I click on here, automatically I have, you know, there are some the macros here. So automatically you can create your own options here, which is very easy. So if you know it is very easy, if you doesn't know it's very hard. Okay. Okay. Nothing. Just click on this macros. You'll be getting list of macros. You can add the tab here. New tab. Click on new tab. Whatever you want, just drag here. Okay, but be careful with the code. Whatever you are writing for a particular task, be careful with that. Okay, so this is how we can enable a developer tab on top of the ribbon. So after enabling the developer tab, what is the next step? What is the next step after enabling the developer tab? After enabling the developer tab, you have to go to macro security. So what it is asking? In most of the cases, you see disable all macros with notification. But I recommend you have to put enable all macros when you're writing. When you're writing macros. OK, when you're writing macros, you have to enable all macros. Then you can start writing your macros. Not recommended, potentially dangerous put code can run means you can override the existing functionality of the Excel as well. Okay, whatever the existing functionalities of Excel, like, you know, uh, there are some other requirements based on requirements we have. We look up all the functionalities. We look up a stupid condition formatting font, all those. 
so we can override those existing functionalities as well so because of that not recommended potentially dangerous code can run okay so we can enable macros immediately where you will write the macro you have seen developer tab immediately you'll go to macro security you will be enable all macros this is the first step next step what you will do record macros you'll start writing macros where you'll writing where do you start writing macros if you open this window visual basic you'll find three windows this is project window this is properties window and this is code window so how many workbooks you open those many projects will be created so i opened two workbooks so two projects got created okay and each and every workbook has its own properties so you can see here if i click on sheet what you can do with the help of sheet if you click on this workbook what you can do with the help of this workbook like if i open so each and every workbook each and every project has its objects and object pro own properties so these are properties and these are you know projects and where you will start writing the code so we will not do anything with this but what where will start writing the code where will be writing the code any idea Not we'll be writing the code in modules so i can insert create modules and i can start writing in modules okay why because you can write in sheets also but if you write anything here if you delete the sheet automatically the code which you have written for that particular sheet will be deleted so if that sheet is deleted whatever the code which you have written will be vanished completely it got deleted so once it got deleted we can't claim it clear any questions no sir no sir any questions yeah so if you have any questions you can ask me here so i'll stop here only so i'll take tomorrow or day after i'll start from monday sir uh, what is the course uh, course duration course duration mostly 15 to 20 sessions sir 20, 15 to 20 sessions yeah uh, okay after the completing after completing the session you be, uh, you may be share the uh, recorded session is it right sir? sir for each session like for example for each and every session i'll be sharing the working sheet whatever the sheet which i am doing i'll be sharing this working session and afterwards i'll share the link video link as well i'll upload the video link so that you will be getting that video link so both the things will be are giving okay yeah will you be supported for uh, practical project line yeah i'll be supporting sir okay in most of for most of the people i'm doing it i'll be supporting mm -hmm. And uh, one more, the last question, sir. Uh, uh, no problem, will sir. You yeah. Will you provide any um, practice material? I'll be giving tasks. No I'll yeah. be giving uh, tasks, sir. Nin, nin task, whatever the task, whatever I'm giving, if you can practice that. Ante, nin chepine task me try ante. That means if you practice that, automatically you are on the right path. Okay. No need to. Um, no need any man man okay yeah. okay i understand chala easy sir it is chala easy but the way day to day practice and whatever the task i'm giving if you start writing and if you start executing more than enough mm -hmm. more than enough yeah yes sir i have 9 to this is 9 to 11 session actually most of the things got completed you can see most of the okay. codings have completed you can see. so every day i'll be sending this sheet with the help of tasks 
Okay. Okay. Uh, let me show. Uh, so these all are real type tasks only, like how to create. So with this, with the help of only this code, you can improvise this code as per your real time. Okay. How we will apply VLOOKUP. So VLOOKUP I taught, but how we will apply in real time. So how to create okay. a report. So this is report. So how to create a report. How much, what are the fun, which functional, which functions you are going to use, Excel functions. So this is a task which I gave for VBA functions. So okay. these functions are only in VBA, not in Excel workbook. Okay. So how to refer workbook worksheet functions? Like in we have VBA functions and we have worksheet functions. Now uh, I have covered these both functions with for this batch. Okay. And after okay. all this, today I'll be covering them uh, how to consolidate, like means worksheet, multiple sheets data, how to consolidate, how to make it one. Okay. Yes. Okay. Then after segregating the data, okay. how to segregate the data. Okay. So Using consolidation and segregating. So these are some real time. Most of the things I worked only uh, these two type projects. So I'll be teaching those two projects. So creating user buttons also will be done. Sir? User forms creating and all these. Ah, yes, sir. User forms creating also I'll be. It's there in the content. User forms and. But the only thing is interacting with other applications that was somewhat advanced. So that I'm not going to cover. But as per your request, I'll be covering. Like interacting with Outlook, interacting with Access, interacting with you know uh, SQL, interacting with web applications. So these all are advanced topics. So once you are familiar with this, you can go with advanced one. But as per your request. Too. Okay. 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 Still, any questions, sir? Vamshi, sir, Anand, Srinivas, sir, Satish, sir, Nitish. Batch timing? Batch timing, same time, sir, 7.30 to 9. Seven thirty to 9, okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Uh, see you on Monday, guys. So we'll start our session from Monday. Why? Because only, I see only five people. So if any people are going to join within these three days, so I will be adding those people to this batch. So this is only because of, you know, to get more people in to create a batch, group of people. Okay. Not for anything. So just to add few more people, I will be waiting for two to three days. Then after I'll be starting. Okay, sir. Okay. See you all. Thank you. Thank you all. We'll see you on Monday.